I know of a business who recently lost £22,000 because of a phishing attack. These types of attacks are happening to everyone ever in the world. In this video, I'm gonna show you the method that I've created called the DAC method that can help you identify a phishing attack and stop it in its tracks. If you've not been here before, my name is Jonathan Edwards and I'm a business IT consultant based in the UK. I help businesses stay secure and get the very best return on their IT spend. So before I start and show you my DAC method, it might be helpful to run through exactly what a phishing attack is. So a phishing attack is when a cyber criminal sends something to you like an email or a text message and what they're wanting you to do is input some information so that might be your username and password for an application it might be a credit card number or some other type of personal information or it might be an attachment that they want you to click on and when you click on that attachment it infects your computer with something nasty now the term phishing does actually come from the actual phishing analogy basically the cyber criminals are the fishermen and they've got their rods in the water and us will wear the little fish swimming around and what they're trying to do is get the fish to bite the problem with fishing is it's become so sophisticated so I work in IT and sometimes even I have to look closely at an email to see if it's real or not so without adequate cyber security training a lot of people are falling victims to these phishing attacks so that is why I've created the DAC method. Anyone can use this process when they get an email that they're not quite sure about and hopefully when you've gone through the process you'll know whether this email is a phishing attack or not. So let me show you how to do it. So D is for domain. Now what is a domain? A domain follows the at sign. So if I work for the BBC, my email address might be Jonathan Edwards at bbc.co.uk. It's the bbc.co.uk that is called the domain. We also sometimes have personal email addresses like gmail.com or hotmail.com. It's the hotmail and the gmail bits that are called the domain. So the first part of the DAC method is to check the domain. This is sometimes an obvious giveaway. Just take a look at this email I received the other day from the British bank NatWest. Or is it from NatWest? Now if you receive this email and you're a customer of NatWest you're going to be immediately interested in the contents. It's saying that you've got an important message about your bank account so why wouldn't you be? But on closer inspection of this email if you look at the domain it's come from securesuite.net. Now this doesn't sound like NatWest. So if we open a Google page and look for NatWest, we can see that their domain is actually at natwest.com. So if they were gonna send you an email, it would come from a domain at natwest.com. So this is clearly not a genuine email. If you want to take this a little bit further and open a Google page and go to www.securesuite.net, we can see that there's actually no website associated with this company. So this domain has been created especially by a cyber criminal to try and hook me into entering my details. So that's the D in the DAC method. Okay, what does the A stand for? So the A stands for action. With all phishing emails, the cyber criminal wants us to take action. They want us to either click on a link or click on an attachment, some form of action. A common phishing attack is an email pretending to be from Microsoft. And the action is to click on a link that might take us to a 365 login page. I've seen a lot of examples recently when it looks like people are trying to share information with us. So maybe share OneDrive documents or something like that. You click on the link and it wants you to sign in. But this web page that it's taking you to isn't Microsoft's. And as soon as you enter your email address and your password, then the cyber criminal has those details and they can then use it to try and eventually steal money from you. So how do you get around this? How do you know if a link is genuine or not? Well, this tip works in a pretty similar way to the domain one. So if you just hover your mouse cursor over the link or the button that it wants you to click on, you can see clearly here the link 
link that you're going to get taken to. Again, you can see that this is not on Microsoft on that West web page. This is a phishing attack and it's going to take you somewhere bogus. So I've not clicked on anything at this stage. All I've done is hover my mouse over it and I can see it's not a good link. And sometimes the phishing attacks want you to click on attachments. These attachments could be pretending to be an invoice or a lot of these are from courier companies saying here's your consignment. It's so tempting to just click on these attachments. My advice here, if it's not an email you're expecting, then consult with your IT provider before clicking on anything. Because when you click on these attachments, it can install nasty viruses on your computer. So we've covered D for domain, we've looked at A for action, and now it's the C word, and that stands for content. The third way to spot a phishing email is to look at the content of the email. Firstly, check the grammar. A lot of cyber criminals are from non-English speaking countries and so sometimes the grammar isn't quite right. If you pay close attention to the contents of the email, something will jump out at you. Just look at this email here. There are a couple of things in this email that don't sound quite right. If this really was a British bank sending me an email, I think the grammar might be a little bit better than this. Also, another aspect of the content is the urgency. Cyber criminals always want you to do something urgently. They don't want you to stop and think about it. They want you to do something now. So it might be your bank account that's at risk. It might be your email that's full. They want you to take immediate action before you go through the process of the DAC method, before you can identify that in fact it's a phishing email. So there you have it. That is the DAC method for spotting a phishing attack. It doesn't cost any money anyone can use it and it's really easy. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you again soon.